Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 46 first round match of Chalice between Andy Davo and his Wood Elves and Tandis and his Orcs. Uh, we start off with a Dacker, a Glorious, with the, uh, the tree back. In the booth with me is Fymir, hello. Hello everybody, here we are to see Andy Davo, yes, with the Woodies versus a very decent Orc team. Yeah. Could be, you know, a little uh, more developed than one of the Black Orcs, but other than that, it looks absolutely lovely. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Actually, it was, it, it's not as good versus Elves, right? Because he's got two stand firms instead of two tackles. Um, yeah. So he's actually, and it's actually missing a bit of Mighty Blow, but he's got a tackle pom, which is good. But it, it's a lot better than the Wood Elf team. The Wood Elf team looks very light. Um, it was a late run by Andy, who got an incredible record in a short period of time. And, you know, it's not terrible, right? He's got an Edge 5 Dancer, he's got a Move 9 Catcher, and he's got a Wizard. And we'll have a Wizard what? in every match, but... Um, Wait, did, they, did he... Has, okay, he has four rerolls. Okay, maybe yeah. that... Uh... Yeah, that was a bit greedy, but he's on 30, so it, it makes sense, right? You've got to... Uh... Yeah, he's not planning to use any reroll in the next uh, turns anyway, so yeah. It's certainly not, Russell. It's certainly not as good as some other Wood Elf teams I saw. But those amazing Wood Elf teams couldn't get the records to qualify. Very sad. People should, you know, honestly, all these, all these other Wood Elf coaches should have just played rubbish on purpose so that I could have qualified the best Wood Elf team. <laughs> Damn them all! Lack of, lack of respect. The complete lack of respect. Yeah. <laughs> they should have, you know, they should have done their other Wood Elf compatriots a solid and said, "No, no, Jim, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll let you win." <laughs> now uh, the Orc team, I see now, has a Mister Throw with a lot of wasted uh, SPP there. Oh wow, he's moving the tree yes, back! Yes. Wow. This is a, this is gonna be a complete <laughs> Daka to the back. That's a bit wild, isn't it? I mean, he probably should have started him there if that was the plan. But um, he's all right. Yeah, oh, he's moved three as well. No, he's not. He's I was looking at the wrong thing. So he's moved two trees. So yeah, he's. Been, I think I would have probably just left him there, right? But because you you want to break through with the tree. Because you've got. Are three you sure? I think he's gonna to try to break through with the uh, Jagannod uh, piece. Yeah, but the the tree can like you can break through around the tree, so like yeah, okay, it, it's, yeah. it's got to make he's got to make the he's got to make the uh, the center strong so that he can't. No, just handing off now. No, no, no greed now. Now that the the vanity reroll is gone. Now that's uh, a very good troll, by the way. Block pro. Yep. Of of course, the best play would have been to hand off to the dancer, and then the dancer passes to him, <laughs> and then you've leveled your dancer. But that is that is very greedy versus the, you know a pretty a pretty a decently scary orc team. It's it's pretty TV efficient, and uh, but there is only one tackle. Okay, there is a an error on the org positioning. <laughs> yep. There is a massive <laughs> pull. <laughs> yeah. It's it's hard to get past it though. There is it is hard to get past it to be fair. So I think he'll just yeah, he'll just Yeah, it's just okay, that was enough. Yeah, get him. I li I like getting one guy through like that, you know? Then that gives you a bit of a bit of a probably would have done that uh, at the end of the turn, trying to add some GFIs, you know, to make the player more dangerous and the, he has to invest more uh, pieces. Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. All right, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. He only went three. It shouldn't... No, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, at least, at least the wrestler gets hit now, which is kind of what you want, right? Because it makes the boat down awkward for them. Yeah. What did you say, red hair? That was funny. 
Why are the elves hiding? Their... You've never seen that before, um, um Well, you should watch. You should watch my YouTubes where I do it all the time. <laughs> it is the the hot new strat in Blood Bowl, Daka Daka, um, and it's it's amazing. That was J five. I think the tree is good versus Shorlock. It's a very good roadblock. Yeah, yeah, tree's great against Orcs, yeah. It doesn't it doesn't fit in with the Dakar amazingly, but like Do you know what I mean? Because I feel like yes. it should have been it should have started like here or here and not moved, right? And then and because the thing is it's like he's activated it four times now and he's been pretty lucky that it hasn't gone it hasn't gone uh, you know, hasn't rooted. And if it roots out of position then it's shit. So I don't hate. I, I kind of prefer just putting on the LOS like against orcs, and then well, you know if they foul it, then at least it's it's holding them up for a turn, and them hitting it doesn't really cost them anything. But at least like you you might trade off with a player fouling it, and obviously they're you know they're they're pretty thick, you know pretty good with the armor and thick skull, and then later on you can stand him up and then like rejoin him. So. <laughs> Thank you, J5. Yeah, I just think I think you put it in the middle, or you put it back here, like and, and not move it, right? I just think he's moved it too much, and he's he's had a bit of luck getting away with moving it four times. <laughs> Very good, J5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit! <laughs> And if you want to read that joke and many other horrible jokes that will give you nightmares, don't forget to join uh, Jimmy's Fantastic Discord. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a bit of a, there was a bit of a hole here, wasn't there? How did this happen? I wasn't paying uh, attention. I was just reading about try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, try Ryan's uh, another stream. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Try. Yeah, like put it back and then and then don't move it, right? But instead, he's he's he, he put it. Back and then he moved it back and then he moved it forward. Then he's blocked with it and it's like, it's. If it'd been here, where is that? Is that a six back? Maybe. If it's here or here, then then it's like it's controlling a lot of area and then he's got to deal with it and then you can do things. Hello, firstborn. Not bad, thanks. Nah, fair enough. Um, 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 um. I'll, I'll I'll do a short I'll do a short Dakar. I'll do a short Dakar guide. Actually, I'm gonna do a short Dakar guide at some point. Um. Yeah, and Tindis has has let has let. Wow. Wow. What was that? You could. Uh, oh, you were uh, running away. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's he's really straight like it's really weird he's like he's gone through and then he's he's come back and now it's okay it's turn six it's happening and uh, he didn't put that much pressure on the you know yeah. actual players he should be worried about yeah it's it's a weird it's like it's like a it's like a half dacker in a good way not the way not the way Yak did the Dakar. <laughs> like Yak's half Dakar was terrible because he just got all his players hit and then ran away. Whereas this is a weird half Dakar where he's run people through and has scoring threats and they have but they haven't really broken through as a team. Which Which I think he doesn't need to do much more because the Orc Mole is a lot let those uh, you know score threats go there easy. Yeah. Just to pluses. Yeah, it's weird and like it spread, spread out all the I orcs. thought the the tackler was going to hit one of the ones at the right side. Yeah, I mean I would have definitely kept the tackler central, right? Because he, he just he's he's you know, you've only got one tackle, so you've got to be able to hit a dodger if you can. But yeah, the orcs just managed to go all around the field, like it's wild. It's wild what a formation the orcs have put up in. I mean, 
I I I would have I would have not played it like Andy has. So I don't, you know, it's hard to say that. Do you know what I mean? But like the way he's played it, it's interesting, isn't it? Because he's, it's it's not like a normal Dakar. He's got all these people have been able to get through one at a time, and it's just weird. Like I would have rather had these two back doing something rather than. He got the uh, the, the space offered a few times ago, so he just took it. Yeah. It's a Devo Dakar, yeah, a, st <laughs> a staggered Dakar. And it, and it's worked very well because the orc is absolutely confused, doesn't know what to do. Yeah. It's interesting. Johnny Five just dropping that he drives while he watches Blue Ball games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And this is this is pretty crucial. This is an elf team without any guard whatsoever, which is uh, not good, is it? Not where you want to be as elves, having no guard whatsoever. Oh, he's rolled a one. Yeah, now he's got these guys to. Uh... Oh. Oh, he oh, had sure, sure feet, and he feet. failed oh. it. And, and I mean, yeah, that was that was a bit crap, wasn't it? Because these two guys were back here; they could have just come back <laughs> to here and here, right? Yeah, yeah, maybe that was uh, the play. Yes, yeah, they move at least one of them back. Yeah. I mean, the ball is not in extreme danger, but he has players able to reach it. Yeah, yeah, there was that was an unnecessary two plus, basically. Could, he could have played it safer, especially like having these guys already free. He just didn't use the fact they were already free, did they? The tackle comes in. And here comes Mr. Throw. Oh my god, the heroics of Mr. Throw. Needing a GFI, but they managed to do it, and now... Oh, wow, he's, he's got this... <laughs> <laughs> that just scared me that time. I didn't even... <laughs> I just got scared. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think he could have definitely played that safer. I don't think it was worth, like, the maybe... Like, he was already over there, right? Like, he didn't need the additional payoff. Like... Sometimes you get additional payoff by rolling more dice and stuff, and I felt like he was already close enough, and uh, those two could have come in. Wow. Been... wow! 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 One in wow! Thirty-six. Wow. Armor wreck. <laughs> wow! And the ball in the crowd. Ah! <laughs> the guy was already activated. Got it. <laughs> Tragedy. I mean, horrible tragedy. But what are the chances? <laughs> What a perfect play if the uh, war dancer were still be able to play. Yeah. But that's not uh, something you can count with. That was amazing, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's shit because he, he obviously felt like he had to do something about this this guy. Uh, but I, maybe, you know, maybe he shouldn't have done anyone yeah. else. You know, you know that the catch should be, you know, like uh, dodge or tackle, something like you can, you know... Switch. Uh, you say that. Choice. You say that, Fami, but I think it's 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 less realistic, right? Like I know the catch skill should be optional, um, technically, like you know, and it isn't. But like at the end of the day, if if you threw like a ball at Michael Jordan, he's not going to not catch it, is he? Do you know what I mean? Like he just he just couldn't. Like the muscle memory in that. It's yeah. Just well, like, also truth to be told, if you don't catch, you is a turnover. So yeah. There's, there's times the when you wouldn't want to, like, from a strategical game kind of idea, but, like, so I, I, I don't hate it so much that it kind of fits, fits with a fluff that, like, you know, it's, it's kind of stupid, right? And the, there was an American football match where, where the, the New England Patriots, like, let their opponents score, and then the guy with the ball just, like, he knew that he shouldn't score, but he just fell in the end zone anyway because he just couldn't resist it. <laughs> He just he just couldn't stop himself. <laughs> he just like he stopped like a like a rabbit in the headlights, panicked, and was like, I can't not score and <laughs> just scored. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was really funny. Well, there you go. That, that was something, wasn't it? But yeah, I think that was... He didn't use the elves that had broken through and he made it a bit too risky, riskier than it had to be. And obviously, it was unlucky to roll the double, score, double yeah. one. But then, he did give himself the chance to be unlucky. I will say now, I don't like the tree on the lowest right here. Yeah. I'll uh, put the lino without the skills in the center of the, where is the tree, the kicker at the side, oh no, the kicker at the side, the other one, uh, and the tree center, mm -hmm. more or less. You know, where is the kicker? The tree, where is the kicker? Yeah. Because it's orcs, they're going to get the two dice. The good thing about the tree is having the orcs having to invest a lot of players, but in the here, they already have the players. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yep, he still does have the wizard, yeah. But I mean like he should have been one nil up after his drive, shouldn't he? So that was it was that was a failed DACA, thus proving to every <laughs> to everybody that dislikes the DACA that the DACA's terrible. <laughs> <Wait. clears throat> These people now I see they have a lot of rerolls here. Yeah. Yeah, it must have must have been both sides, right, from the uh, kickoff. The kickoff yeah, event. Coaching. Yeah, yeah, but that means the. Uh... Oh, 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 and that's why you don't put the tree on the lowest. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. That's made his team better for the next round, maybe. <laughs> no, I think. Not, e <laughs> not even needing a mighty blow, proper uh, insta full death. Yep. And he keeps his apple because... No, he's already used his apple. Oh, did he use it at the, at the end of the first half and totally missed it? Oh, well, never mind. So, apple's gone. Wow, apple's already gone there. Nah, I think... I think it's... For uh... Shaklo team, yes, I say, fire the tree. <laughs> but versus an uncle team... It's a good, very good roadblock that will, uh, yeah, it is. No, it for is. some reason, always attract people around. Yeah. And you can, if he has guard or any skill, you know, you can use it uh, a lot. Yeah, I, I just don't like it for the DACA. Yeah, the thing is, I just don't like it for the DACA, right? And, and, and I don't know, I guess because his team is a bit crap, it's probably going to have to DACA more, <laughs> which makes the, the tree a bit worse. So, you know, not that he's built it wrong or anything. It's just that it's it's underweight for 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 the playoffs. You know, but you know, with, he's elves with a wizard and edge five, so it's it's still not terrible. It's just it's quite unlikely to get the string of luck that it needs to. Like it's always got a shot, hasn't it? Like these kind of teams have always got a shot, but they're unlikely to get the sustained uh, shots in over the course of the entire playoffs. There we go. There's another reroll in. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? It's the Edge Five guy, and you're pumming him. So. Oh yes, you want to kill that piece. Yeah, I think we all we all pile on him all day, and kill him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> that makes it the game a lot more secure for the uh, for the Orcs. Great reroll there. I was gonna say what a shitty rule. No, I think that's edge five with a wizard. You know, you really don't want, you really don't want edge five when you wizard. Did he, did he already moot him? I don't know why this guy hasn't gone over there to protect the ball. That was. I'm just thinking about the wizard, and then like if he bolts, then he's still got a screen there to get to it. So like now, obviously, Tendis just needs to be thinking about the wizard like all the time and and how he can best protect against that wizard. Also, he should probably be wanting to foul. To foul that catcher, doesn't he, right? Yes. <laughs> we 
results based. No, I think I think it's not just results based. I think that was a major major thing, right? When your opponent's got edge five and a wizard, and I should know after last last season CCL, <laughs> where I faced three teams that had an edge five and a wizard, and then lost to the one that had edge five and edge six. <laughs> I know that um, was a good reroll. The, the guy has like a million rerolls. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got one tackle. Like, you know, he's got one tackle on his team. He's not going to get to hit that edge five much anyway. And then to hit it with... And then he's hitting it with the right character as well. And it's like... It's Andy's main way of winning the game. I think that's, that is an easy reroll. I didn't like that blitz so much, even though it, even though it cast. So therefore it was a great blitz. I would have rather blitz this guy to get the uh, dirty player foul in, personally. But I mean, this is a nice, nice cage, isn't it? And I guess he's just going to dodge him for the foul. So like, I mean, this is maybe this is maybe better than what I would have done. I'd have just definitely wanted to foul him. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. You got to foul him anyway. Brutal. You have to wizard here. Do you? Let's have a look. Maybe. You've got a wizard at some point. Like, but this is shit. Like, this is horrible, right? If you're if you're the elves here, like, even if you bolt him, what you need a lucky scatter out, out to the side here, or out to the side here, is what you're looking at. Uh, and I guess if... Like, it's just horrible. But you've got no players left, so like... Yeah, the, what do you do if you if, don't wizard? Just run everyone you, back? You can get rid of the Mr. Throw. There is no sure hands left on the team, so your uh, strip ball becomes much more useful. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty horrible. He's in. He's in a horrible situation getting turned around here, and he's not trying to get back in front. He's literally. He's literally not getting back in front. Wow. So yeah, I think either you go for the wizard or you run everyone down in front, right? And he's actually just stayed behind him. I guess he's got time to get back. It's not bad, right? At the end of the day, the orcs still have to stall till turn 16. So the problem is they might bang out more players, right? Yes, but uh, now he uh, gave the orcs the whole pitch. Yeah. Yeah, what I mean is you don't have to get back this turn because you can get back on turn 12 and then 13 and then turn 14 you can get back and you can bolt on turn 14. The problem is if you're losing players in between, right? That is the only bad thing. But like, he didn't have to run everyone back that turn, I guess. I thought he had to run everyone back that turn, but I guess he doesn't. And I thought that wizard was pretty shit, but I mean, I can, I can get why you would think, oh my god, shit's fucked. And Bolton Hall. I can, I can see, I can see the Bolton Hall. Yeah. I Maybe now he's uh, trusting on the one turner and saving the wizard for the overtime. The reroll there is tough, right? Because you don't need to both down and then be miles away from the dancer and stuff. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't like the reroll because there's still a chance you can. Uh, you know, with the wizard and stuff, things can happen. So, but then he should have probably tried to keep the mighty blow tackle the safer, so that he didn't have to blitz with him. Yeah, he could have blitz with somebody else, couldn't he? So that, but, and then just recover the tackle. I think the guard dancer is gonna get the hit by the bomber uh, now. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't like. I didn't like that non reroll. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't like that, that reroll. So I would not reroll that. I mean, one thing is having a lot of them, but then you have also have to think in overtime. So he's kind of going the the anti wizard cage a bit, isn't he? Oh my god, he's doing this blitz before that, and like, okay, <laughs> it means that a one in thirty six he has to reroll. And it means a 1 in 12.96 is completely fucked. 
That's that's pretty weird when you've just got the ball there and it's definitely not going to GFI or anything. But I guess he wanted to know he made a Kaz first. <laughs> like just, wait, he's not in the cage. He's handing off. Wow, that's that's okay. I don't want to say that's absolutely fucking idiotic and terrible, but I, I can't not, not say that, can I? <laughs> not good. In comes the bolt. That is, it's that's just fucking insane. That, like, sorry, but that's <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Five. <laughs> oh dear. It's not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad, or right or wrong? We need Bezel to change his command. Obviously, has to reroll this. Yes. Oh, and then rolls a double one. Wow. Lucky dog. Yeah, I think this was not the match to do it again. Like, and plus it's only putting him on 11, right? It's putting in MVP it's be range. Amazing, guys. It's putting him in MVP range on the Blitzer versus Andy Davo with Wood Elves and a Wizard. Like, this is not this is not the time yes. to do that, if that shit. If that player will, will be able to run away <laughs> and make a pass to the catcher, that would have been an early, early game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's incredible, isn't it, Sledger? It fucking kills me. I'm I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting over it now, but yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. He's managed to like move everyone around and not protect the ball here as well. Yeah, strip as well, yeah, yeah, exactly try. Yeah. Like just literally taken off the sure hands guy. The same way a guy did versus Chunter, right? The guy who played Chunter, he, he passed away from his sure hands guy to a non sure hands guy against Chunter. Like I just don't get why people do this. <laughs> oh, another snake. Yep. Oh, that was a 3 plus. And 3 plus dodge, but it was, it was the GFI that he failed, wasn't it? Yeah, he double one. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. He did the GFI and then he rolled a 1 on the 3 plus dodge. So he re rolled the GFI. Wait, what? This, this dice log is fucked. <laughs> 2 plus 2 plus, and then he's got going for it and dodge 3 plus. But he failed something anyway. He failed something somehow. Now the wizard is out of the equation. Wait, is Tain Disgarian? <laughs> What's this? That 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 handoff was mental. Whoever it is. Yeah. He's still just not in the cage for some reason. Yeah, exactly, Razzle. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't think he would get a better chance. But like it's tough, right? The the wizard is tough to be fair when he used the wizard. Maybe he should have used it earlier, right? Maybe he should have used it earlier. That looked like the turn after when he should have whizzed, right? Because that now, like, now you're up shit creek. It's uh, like my wizard against Sindane a few seasons back, where it was like, I, uh, I did it, but it was like too late, and I probably should have done it when it was, when it was going well for me, and then I waited until it would, it had passed me by, and then I, I did it. Too. I still like doing it that turn because I thought if I, you know, it, it gave me half a chance the turn that I did it. Um, but I, I thought it was a suboptimal wizard, but then I thought it was better than just losing. So yeah, maybe, maybe that was the case there for, for Andy Mills, he should have used it there. But then obviously you wouldn't expect someone to just try and hand you the game later. Um, hello, Miss Feltree. High Elves versus Vampires. I um, don't think so. Or at least I haven't. Um, or did we? There was one vampire game that we did. Yeah, there was a vampire game. I've got no idea who they were playing. They had like a strength 5, move 8, strength 5, vampire. Fatal Justice, probably not then. <laughs> okay, what kind of setup for a stop at one turner is this? 
Yeah. Yeah, Lumi's vampires. I think they're the only vampires. Yeah, just backline. Tight LOS and backline. Oh, he's, he's got he's got the trolls. We can uphill him. That's the only. Exactly. Player. Gets him. So I just got to hand off and then lob it. It works. And now another two plus into a three plus. Ooh, did an intercept? Bro. <laughs> and he had a pro. He had a pro. So he was, he was even oh my god! Team. Imagine if he pros the. Oh. oh. Dodge fails. He had the same. He had the same, He was about as good at one turning as my move ten edge five. <laughs> yeah, if you don't get the dice, you don't get the dice. I don't either. know why he set up the three pieces in the lowest like that. It's like uh, you are giving him, you know, instant uh, chain push. Yeah, maybe he could have tried to make it. It's like put a. It's hard though, right? It's hard. You'd have to put what a guard behind the troll. And then, like, players all around so that you couldn't just hit that guard guy behind. So, Because you, you want to try and make it so it's three dice to uphill the troll, right? That's 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 what you play is to try and make it three, to try and force the three dice on the troll. Um, so you would need guard. I don't know if, I, I assume both his stand firms were guard. So if you put another guard behind him and then, like, another guard behind him so you couldn't hit that guard behind him, that would be, that would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. So he, he, he had to make it so it was a three dice uphill. But, um... So there you go. Right. But congratulations, Tendis. Commiserations, Andy Devo. Thank you very much, Faimir. Absolutely glorious. It's a pleasure. And sorry for Andy Devo. I've been a dice when it comes to who his dice has been very unlucky. There you go. Right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.